Hello everyone, my name is Rahan Khan, software engineer at AppScot and one of the developers of KBDB. So today in this webinar, I'm going to talk about how to monitor KBDB managed Apache Kafka using Prometheus and Grafana. So this will be our flow for today's webinar. And uh, we're going to start with a little bit details about Apache Kafka. Uh, what is Apache Kafka? What does it do? And how can we manage Apache Kafka using KubeDB? How to provision Apache Kafka with KubeDB? How can we monitor Apache Kafka, uh, which is provisioned by KubeDB using Prometheus and Grafana? And after that, we're going to jump into a live demo session. Uh, in the session, we're going to provision a TLS equal Kafka onto a local Kubernetes cluster. And we're going to show you how can you install Prometheus and Grafana and use them to monitor Kafka metrics and visualize them through Grafana. Okay. And finally, we're going to wrap up this webinar with announcing some upcoming features and a QA session. So let's go on with it. So prior to anything else, we need to uh, discuss what is Apache Kafka, what does it do? So Apache Kafka is basically a distributed streaming system, which is used for building real-time data pipelines and streaming applications. So originally Apache Kafka was created to handle real-time data feeds by LinkedIn in 2011. But uh, over time, Kafka have quickly evolved from just a message broker to a real-time event streaming platform, uh, which can now handle kind of millions of messages in a second and trillions of mess messages uh, in a day. So this makes Kafka uh, a event streaming system that can handle a high velocity, high volume and high parity of data streams. So, and being high volume of high volume of data streams uh, deliver uh, Kafka, can deliver over a million of messages per second with a very low number of latency of as low as two milliseconds. And Kafka have many other uh, interesting features, like it's highly scalable. Uh, it can, uh, it is very highly scalable, like can scale clusters of uh, up to a thousand brokers, thousands and hundreds of thousands of partitions, petabytes of data, and trillions of messages that we have said earlier. Kafka is also uh, very uh, easy to extend clusters efficiently over availability zones and connect your clusters across geographic regions, uh, making Kafka highly available and very fault tolerant while preserving the data and no risk of data loss. So let's see what uh, KubeDB is offering for Kafka. Let's assume that you have a Kafka cluster provisioned on your Kubernetes, or you want to uh, install Kafka cluster on your Kubernetes, um, any public or private cloud. You have to deal with a lot of configurations. You need to know a lot of stuff behind Kafka, um, behind Kafka bootstrapping options and such, such as many things. And uh, those are really tedious and time consuming matters. But QDB can help you. QDB can simplify this whole provisioning process on Kubernetes by a simple uh, it is, um, CRD manifest. You have to mention uh, all the necessary details in the manifest and apply them on Kubernetes. And our QDB operator will do the rest for you. It will bootstrap all the configurations, all the authentication stuff, all the security stuff for you. And you don't need to worry about that anymore. So QDB supports the Zookeeper-less care mode. In care mode, uh, you don't need any Zookeeper dependency. In earlier releases uh, of Kafka, uh, you have to install Zookeeper prior to installing Kafka. Zookeeper is a, uh, another distributed system uh, which is used to maintain the cluster metadata of Kafka clusters. So now we don't need any Zookeeper dependency if you deploy it in Kerak mode and all the KBB supported Kafka versions are in Kerak mode to be clear. And KBB supports multiple clustering modes. One is combined mode and the other one is topology mode. In combined mode, each of the Kafka node acts as a Kafka controller and a Kafka broker. 
and in topology mode a kafka node can be either a kafka controller or a kafka broker in dedicated style okay so if you want your all the connectivity among your brokers controllers and external clients like publishers subscribers and other stuff uh you what you can do is you can just enable the tls in the crd manifest and our key operator will ensure that all of these contributions are ssl secure a continuously running customizable health checker is also offered by QTV. You can also disable this health checker. Uh, you can also customize the thresholds for these health checkers. Uh, secure authentication with KID secrets is another interesting feature. Uh, all the authentication authorization stuff, uh, secrets and uh, certificates and uh, credentials are uh, secured within Kubernetes secrets. Uh, and those are all created by QTV. And finally, our latest solution, you can now monitor metrics of Kafka brokers using Prometheus and Grafana, where we are providing uh, built-in monitoring support. And uh, we are also providing a built-in, uh, a, a QDB built Grafana dashboard that you can use to visualize those uh, Kafka metrics. And in the latest release, we are releasing, uh, we are providing support for Kafka Care mode version 3.3.2 and 3.4.0. In our earlier releases, we have already given support for 3.3.0. And all of those are Kafka Care mode production ready. Though it is advisable to use, uh, not use 3.3.0, uh, you should use 3.3.2 and 3.3.4.0 in your production. 3.3.0 can be used in uh, local clusters for testing and other stuff. Okay. So this is the flow where you can see that uh, when a user creates a Kafka custom resource uh, definition or a Kafka manifest, it is being watched by our QDB provision operator and ops manager operator and tries to reflect all the changes up onto your Kubernetes cluster. So what our provision operator does is it creates the uh, necessary services, necessary authentication secrets, and bindings, persistent volumes, and state tool sets to create Kafka broker ports uh, or controller ports uh, onto your Kubernetes. And our ops manager operator, uh, it, it injects uh, certificates into Kubernetes secret using cert manager uh, so that your cluster can be secured with SSL. Okay. And if you want to delete this Kafka cluster, uh, you can set the termination policy to this Kafka customization definition manifest. Uh, termination uh, policy can be either do not terminate or wipe out. You can set wipe out uh, not in production clusters. You set wipe out. Uh, you go when you delete this cluster, no trace of your database will be re remain. And if you set do not terminate, your decision request will be rejected every time, and resulting in accidental termination of your uh, cluster. Let's assume that you have provisioned the Kafka cluster onto Kubernetes using QDB. And this QDB managed cluster has several number of brokers. Let's say I have n number of brokers. Uh, this brokers are Kafka broker 1, 2, and 3. And in each of these Kafka broker containers, there is a JMX exporter agent running. This exporter agent is exposing the Kafka matrix uh, into a JMX port. And the, those JMX port uh, is being pointed by the uh, by a stat service. The stat service is pointing to the matrix endpoints, and you can see that the stat service uh, is, is being matched by a service monitor. Now, what is a service monitor? Service monitor is the resource which discovers the services uh, based on matching these levels. The service monitor should reside in the namespace where the Prometheus CRD operator deployed. However, it can discover services deployed in other namespaces too using namespace selector. And this stat service, whatever the service or port goes down, the service again comes back with the same level, hence making it to be discoverable by the service monitor. The service point, the service can reside in any namespace inside the Kubernetes cluster, uh, but could be created in the same namespace where the Kafka cluster is. Okay. So, what is this Prometheus CRD operator? 
this is the Prometheus CID operator. This operator uh, matches the service monitor and it matches the service monitor based on levels and generates some configurations dynamically, uh, which is Prometheus.yml. And the generated YML contains all the scraping target details. So uh, the operators, this operator calls the config builder component to automatically update or dynamically update the configuration for Prometheus and passes them to Prometheus port. And Prometheus port then scrapes all the Kafka metrics to Prometheus. And finally, this Grafana, Grafana dashboard scrapes uh, from a specific database. In this case, this data source uh, access the Prometheus. And from Prometheus, it gets all the Kafka metrics and all the metrics can be visualized in a Grafana dashboard. You can export the Grafana dashboard and use it later. Or you can also uh, use a QDB dashboard and import, import it to Grafana and visualize your Kafka metrics. So it's time for the live demo. So we'll go to a terminal. This is our terminal where we will go, uh, conduct our live demo. And here, as you can see, that I have already a local cluster installed. And it's a local kind cluster. And let's see the version. You can see that I'm using Kubernetes client version 1.25.1 and Kubernetes server version 1.24.6. So before everything else, I need to install kubedb, I need to install Satmanager, I need to install Prometheus and Grafana. So, so you can install kubedb very easily using help charts. Uh, first you have to do helm repo add command and add the chart to your helm repo, to your helm, and then helm repo update to face the latest updates. And finally install this kubedb with helm using the license file you can get the license file at our app license server we visit qdb.com or appscore.com to get it to get the details how to do it okay so i have already installed uh in our local cluster in using this help command as you can see in qdb namespace i have the qdb ops manager installed and the qdb provision operator installed both of these operators are running uh, after installing kubedb, you need to install the cert manager. For cert manager, the, the, the cert manager injects certificates into Kubernetes secrets. And those secrets are going to be used by uh, your Kafka brokers uh, to be mounted into the Kafka stateful sets uh, so that it can be used for uh, secure communication among the controllers, brokers, and publisher, subscriber, etc. And from here, as you can see, in the, my search manager namespace, I already have installed this search manager. This is the search manager C injector port. Uh, this is the waybook port, and it's the search manager operator port. And finally, we're going to install Prometheus and Grafana stack uh, using also uh, help chart. You can add the Helm Prometheus community chart and from here uh, using Helm Repair from just community HTTP this address and Helm Repair update to being the latest uh, updates from this chart and finally install with Helm command in monitoring namespace. You can set the graph on your stack just like I have done here or you can also uh, ignore this. Okay, so as you can see, it's already installed in my cluster. This is the alert manager port. This is the Grafana port and um, Prometheus operator port. And here is one Prometheus port and Prometheus node exporter port. So you can see that I have already installed stuff installed in my Kubernetes. So this is the sample Kafka OML that we're going to apply to our Kubernetes cluster. So here you can see, like any other Kubernetes uh, resource, this is an API version. So API version should be kubedb.com slash v1 alpha 2. The kind is Kafka with the capital K, of course. And in the metadata section, you have to name your uh, Kafka instance. I have named my Kafka instance to be simply Kafka for simplicity. And 
in the name of section i'm going to deploy in demo name space in the spec section you can set this enable as itself to true if you want to secure your uh, connectivity among brokers and controllers uh, with ssl in the spec to tls section you can see you have to refer to a issuer or cluster issuer here you can see that in the spec dot tls and issuer section the api group should be sub major to io you have to refer it to a ca issuer and i have already installed uh, i have already applied this issuer using a uh, csr and ca key file so what are these issuer or cluster issuers these are Quality resources that represent certificate authorities or CS and are able to generate signed certificates by honoring certificate signing request. All SART manager certificates require a reference issuer that is in a ready condition to attempt to honor the request. So, a simple issuer that will sign the certificates based on the private key, as I've said, the CA key that is in that is within this secret Kafka CA that I have already uh, created and and this ca key pair will be used to trust any newly signed certificate by the issuer that i also have created uh, using the in a public infrastructure system or pki system so let's see the issuer that i already have created this is the issuer and as you can see find this issuer and the pair version is submanager.io slash p1 and the spec.ca section i have preferred to this secret that I already have created using the CLCRT and the CA key file. Okay, so we are going to uh, refer this issuer to our tls.issuerref section. Here it is. In the spec.replica section, you have to mention how many replicas do you want for your Kafka cluster. So I am now here deploying a Kafka combined mode cluster. If it was a topology cluster, there would have been a spec dot topology section, and the replicas for e for each of the brokers and controllers would have been different. Okay, so this is a combined mode cluster, and there will be three combined mode uh, Kafka broker, Kafka pod will be created, and each of those pod will act as both controller and broker. The version for my Kafka should be three point four point oh. The high storage section in this section you will provide all the storage information like storage class name, the request. Uh, the storage you want to request or the storage amount you want to limit your cluster to and then the spec dot monitor section finally here you are going to uh, provide all the monitoring steps like you have to provide the monitoring agent uh, it should be prometheus.io slash operator and the exporter for for this agent uh, i have provided 9091 uh, to be the exporter for the service monitor section you have to provide the level uh, the level should be the level of Prometheus. And uh, the Prometheus was installed, in, as you have already seen, Prometheus was installed using uh, Prometheus uh, Grafana stack with help. And there, the, it was the, it, this level was there, release Prometheus. This level is in the Prometheus helm, uh, Prometheus ports as well. Okay. So I need to uh, I need to use this level and this level will be matched with Prometheus so that the service monitor that is created by uh, our QDB operator uh, can match to Prometheus. The interval set here is 10 seconds. That means this point to Prometheus will escape uh, the Kafka matrix in each test 10 seconds. The storage type set here is durable. You can also set it to ephemeral. If you set it to ephemeral, when you delete your cluster, all the PVCs will be deleted. Otherwise, the PVCs will uh, persist. In the termination policy, you can set uh, your termination policy to wipe out or do not termination. Uh, set do not termination in production clusters. Uh, it will remove accidental deletion of your cluster. Okay. So I'm going to apply this YML. I already have the issuer and I already have the uh, Prometheus for monitoring section. So we have to apply this Kafka instance. Okay, when I have applied this Kafka instance, as you can see, in demo name is this, a Kafka instance has been created and Kafka version is 3.4.0 and it's currently pro uh, provisioning state. While in provisioning state, uh, service our provisioning operator 
we create necessary services and you can see two services kafka ports and kafka stats kafka ports is a headless service uh, it is pointing to all of these ports and you can see it's a headless as the cluster ip is none kafka stats the service that exposes the jm export uh, to the outside world and this service matches the service monitor also that is needed to uh, test uh, to scrape the data to prometheus by matching the levels uh, and this is pointing to each of the ports and our operator have also created some necessary secrets as you can see like kafka admin credential it contains admin cred it contains the administration credentials and Kafka config secret it contains the it contains the necessary configurations for Kafka and Kafka key store kit contains the credential for the Kafka key store and our uh, option manager option manager operator have injected uh, secrets into this uh, Kafka client cert Kafka server cert uh, so that secure combination can be possible. Okay. So as you can see, our Kafka cluster is ready. So as our Kafka cluster is ready, what I can, what we can do is we can use this service. Okay. So we can use this service as you can see uh, in monitoring MS space, Prometheus, keep Prometheus to localhost 9090 uh, let's port for this service and to expose the prometheus port and see what happens okay so if you go to a browser push this space here you can see all the kafka ports have exposed matrix in slash matrix path in slash matrix endpoint you can see all of those are up in their state. Uh, you can see the levels, container Kafka, the endpoint is matrix, the instance IP here, uh, the job, it is named after the Kafka service, uh, Kafka stat service, demo, the port name is Kafka one, the service is Kafka stats. And if you notice this last script time, if we keep refreshing this space, you'll notice that it never goes up to 10. It always stays below 10 seconds. That means that means all the Kafka uh, metrics are scraped in every 10 seconds. Okay, so this is how Prometheus scrapes data, scrapes uh, matrix from Kafka brokers. Very easily you can do it if your uh, Kafka cluster is provisioned using QDB. Okay, fine. So let's get back to our terminal here. And what we're going to do is now we're going to port forward this service in monitoring namespace. Uh, this Prometheus Grafana service, this will port forward our uh, Grafana instance to localhost 4000 from 80. Okay. Now, if we get back to our browser here you can see in local host 4000 this is a already a, i already have a dashboard a grafana dashboard here that is running that is visualizing all the Kafka metrics now you can go to export slash uh grafana dashboards and from there in kafka folder you will find this file kafka database dashboard the json you can copy this whole json file here and return back to kafka from here import and import this whole paste this whole json file here and load this json file to uh, generate this dashboard this Kafka dashboard these panels that i already have here okay so this is the dashboard that keep we have built for you uh, so that you can very easily visualize the kafka matrix um, script from uh, prometheus so as you can see, our Kafka servers is up now. The status is up. The up time is five minutes. This is the start time here. It is started in 17, 25, 30 seconds local time. And the JVM version is OpenJDK runtime environment 
0 0.16. The average number of CPU used is 0 0.5.1. You can refresh the dashboard every time here. You can set the time of refresh here. The interval of your refreshing here. Okay. Now, from here you can see the heap memory area used is visualized in a graph. The non heap memory area used is also visualized. This is the garbage time, garbage collector time in this uh, graph pair. Garbage collector count in this here. JVM classes, number of JVM classes loaded and visualized in this graph. Number of threads in this are visualized in this graph. Now, this is the Kafka topic matrix. Uh, and to the topic matrix panel, here you will find matrix related to the uh, Kafka broker topic. And as you can see, this you can even change the pods here. Which pod, which uh, which pod do you want to use for uh, visualizing the matrix service, the containers? Okay. So as you can see, I already have a topic which is Kafka Health. Uh, for as as I've already mentioned, QPB also provides a health checker. The health checker, what the health checker does is health checker creates a topic called Kafka Health, and it continuously publishes data, random data to this Kafka Health topic. And uh, don't worry, uh, it can't, it will it will uh, it has a limit up to one thousand messages. After one thousand messages, this topic will be recreated. So whatever you can see that this topic is being created. So uh, Kafka Health is okay. You can create topic. You can publish to publish messages to that topic and if you refresh you can see number of messages now 18 number of bytes received in this topic is over 5000 paste request rate byte of rate to other brokers byte in rate to other brokers produce rate uh final produce rate byte of rate to clients these are all the metrics here and in the here you will find metrics or first offset partitions like for Kafka Hill the start of set is zero and the end of set is 48 uh, for cluster metadata topic, uh, which contains all the cluster metadata, start of city, you know, the uh, end of city, 89,000 something. And this is the Kafka Quora monitoring matrix panel here. And we see the current leader ID is zero here. That means uh, the quorum leader is now Kafka zero. The care of monitoring matrix section here will find the current uh, quorum epoch, the high watermark, number of unknown border connections graph log and offset etc and if you just hover over on the left right corner on the, on the left top corner you will find the details for each of the metrics uh here the deal you could read the details number of unknown voters whose connection information is not cached this value of this matrix should always be zero so this is always zero so there is no unknown voter right now so our, our cluster is healthy as well and in the care of controller monitoring matrix, you will find the number of active brokers, number of active controllers, fence broker count, and metadata error count. And this is the section for global partition count. You can see that each of my ports have 19 uh, partitions globally available. And this is the global topic count. Each of these ports have one topic each. Offline partition counts, a number of uh, partitions that are currently offline. Uh, that are not observed by the controller. This is the preferred replica imbalance count, which means uh, which leader is not the preferred leader if the, in the topic partition. So these are all the metrics currently available now. We uh, will work on adding more important metrics that can uh, help you visualize your Kafka cluster and uh, continuously uh, continuously aid you uh, to observe your cluster health, cluster status, uh, how's your cluster going, etc. So, this is it. This is how to uh, monitor your Kafka cluster, which is managed by QTB using Prometheus and Grafana dashboard. So, that's very easily you can uh, provision and manage your Kafka cluster and monitor it as well. Okay. So this is it for today's live demo session. And now we're going to announce some of our upcoming features. Uh, in the upcoming quarters of this year, we're going to provide support for uh, Kafka Cruise Controller support. We're going to have support for Kafka Cruise Controller UI uh, in your next release. After that, we are going to work on Kafka Ops request. 
um, with obstacle support, uh, you can add, uh, you can you can you can use very simple and very small Kubernetes manifests to update your cluster, to uh, expand volume of your cluster, to horizontally or vertically uh, scale your cluster, and uh, reconfigure the TLS, and many more options will be available for obstacle in very Kubernetes native, native way. And we're going to improve our health checker as well. We're going to add more features to health checker. We're going to add a sub uh, subscribe, uh, a subscription to checker in health in, in health checking options. And we're going to make it faster and more stable too. So that's it for today. So let's go to our QA session. Uh, you can ask any question if you have. Regarding to this webinar, regarding how to regarding Apache Kafka, regarding uh, provisioning Apache Kafka with QDB, and how to monitor it using Prometheus and Grafana, anything related to this webinar, you can ask. So thank you. I think there's no questions today. So Deepto, you can take over now. I think this is it today. So thank you for being with me throughout the whole webinar. Deepto. So, uh, okay, we have uh, come to the end of today's webinar. Thank you all for your participation. And uh, we look forward to your presence in our future sessions too. Please visit our website, appscode.com slash webinar to check the schedule and register for our upcoming events. Wishing you all a great day.